बोलिए सतगुरु महाराज की जय सच्चे दरबार की जय अ सोल्जर प्रैक्टिस डेली टू प्रिपेयर फॉर वॉर लर्नस ऑल द डिफरेंट टेक्निक्स टू यूज द वेपन्स एफिशेंटली डज नॉट वेट टिल द डे ऑफ द वॉर to learn how to use these weapons a pianist practices daily as well tries different compositions learns to stay within the beat does not wait till the day of the performance in order to practice you might not be a soldier or a pianist but i want to ask you this what is it that you do in order to prepare yourself for adversity some people put funds away for a rainy day some people ensure they eat healthy exercise and take their vitamins we all know that a tree if it's not deeply rooted into the ground a storm can come and shake it shake it to such an extent that it can be uprooted so i want to ask you this what is it that you do to help yourself stay grounded what are your roots that help you stay connected so that when an adversity comes it doesn't uproot you yes maybe family a job a roof over your head a social circle all of these might ground you but what mentally grounds you what do you do to help your mental strength cuz considering the mental epidemic we are in today mental resilience is one of the most important tools mental epidemic you ask Yes, definitely. Look around. Focus is a very hard concept. Anxiety is on the rise. Suicide and depression numbers have skyrocketed. According to the World Health Organization, by the end of this year, depression will be the second leading cause of disease. and the global rates of suicide are 16 for every 100,000 these rates have gone up 60% in the last 45 years a person is lost to suicide every 40 seconds the numbers are scary proving that we are in the middle of a mental epidemic That's why it's so important to work on our mental strength. Mental resilience is the one that makes the difference between a breakthrough and a breakdown. Resilience as explained in the Psychology Today magazine is that when life knocks you down, you come back so much stronger that when one does not let failure overcome them does not let it drain their resolve but rises from the ashes hardships difficulties in life are inevitable but there are those that crumble at the first sign of adversity and they give up and choose an alternate path but there are those that will break through their hardships that will overcome their hurdles and find a solution fulfill what they were set out to do the one thing that differentiates a person that will break through in adversity from someone who will break down is will the stronger the will power 
the stronger a person mentally is. Willpower is what makes it or breaks it when it comes to success. Willpower is what helps us create habits so that we can stick to a path that we have chosen no matter how many hardships come our way. I want to share with you the story of Karoli Takax. He had joined the Hungarian army and in his early 20s he had become a prolific pistol shooter. The gold was his at the 1936 Olympics. But due to the rules of the country, where only officers were allowed to represent the country, he wasn't selected. Then, in 1938, in a training exercise, a defective grenade blew up his right arm his shooting arm. And although he was in the hospital for a month, they weren't able to save his arm. But Karoli, instead of focusing on what he had lost, focused on what he had. And in 1939, at the Hungarian National Pistol Championship, he showed up. All the participants there offered great condolences and remorse, saying how his dream of winning an Olympic medal was shattered. They offered sadness and grief of him losing his arm. But he said that I am not here to watch, I am here to participate. Karoli had started training with his left hand and he won the national championships. But as fate would have it, the 1940 and 1944 Olympics were cancelled due to World War II. But in 1948, he went to London to compete in the Olympics and won a gold medal. No matter what the hardships were, what obstacles and hurdles came his way, due to his mental strength, due to his determination and will, he overcame all of them and fulfilled his dream of winning a gold medal. So the big question is, what do we do in order to strengthen our willpower, to help ourselves become mentally resilient? I'm going to share with you a few techniques today that you can practice in your everyday life to help build your mental strength. The first is exercise daily. Thousands of people promise themselves that they will exercise daily. With the right intention, they get gym memberships, but after a few weeks, quit. Commitment to exercise, commitment to any sport for that matter, requires willpower. So start small. Add something small in your daily routine in form of exercise. Choose a sport that you enjoy. Something as simple as going out for a walk. Because as you are in nature, studies have shown that it helps reduce anger, fear, and stress. That it helps you become emotionally stable, keeps you physically well, and mentally sound. So set realistic goals. Start small and build on it, but keep a daily practice of some form of exercise. The second is positive thinking. Our thoughts are so powerful. 
What we tell ourselves daily holds great importance. Sri Yukteswar Giri had once fallen gravely ill because of a serious illness. When he recovered and felt a little strong, he paid his guru, Larry Mahashai, a visit. His guru inquired about his health and Yukteswar Giriji explained the whole situation. So his master says to him, So you were sick and you lost a lot of weight, so you think you are thin now? But I'm sure you'll feel better tomorrow. The next day, Sri Yukteswar Giri felt better. And when his master asked him again, How are you today? He says, With your blessings, Guruji, I feel great. His guru says, That's good. But who knows what tomorrow holds? You're still very frail. And the next day came. And when his guru asked him how he felt, he replies that I am aching again. I feel sick again. And this play happened for a few days back and forth. And one day his guru says to him, what is this? One day I ask you, you say you feel good. The next day I ask you, say you feel sick. He says, I am not healing you or making you feel sick. It is your thoughts that are making you feel strong and making you feel weak. Sri Rukteshwar Giri says he learned a very important lesson that day about how powerful our thoughts are. And to start small, start with positive affirmations. If there is something you tell yourself that you self-sabotage on a constant basis, pick that statement, turn it around into a positive affirmation. For example, if you say, I'm not even going to try, I'm not good at anything. Change that around and say, I will try and I will do my best. Stop, take some time and think about what are those statements that you tell yourself that break you down and change those statements into positive affirmations. And read your affirmations on a daily basis. Because what you think is what you will become. Giving up something is a third technique. Fasting one day a week has been a practice for eons. Because when you give up food, when you do not succumb to temptation, you build your mental strength. A disciple once talking to Guru asked, what can I do to focus more? What can I do to prevent myself from being distracted? And his Guru says, is there something that you're extremely fond of? And he says, yes, jaggery. His Guru says, give it up give it up he says yes you're attached to that jaggery give it up to a point where you're not mentally attached to it anymore and that will build your mental strength as your mental strength builds you'll be able to focus and be meditate for longer and not be distracted this theory was tested as well Walter Michel is famous for his Stanford Marshmallow test. In this test, 
they took a few children and each one was given the option of having a marshmallow right away or if they waited 15 minutes they could have two marshmallows some children didn't even think twice and immediately ate the first marshmallow but some children ended up waiting 15 minutes to receive two marshmallows and the study shows that the children who waited 15 minutes believed to have stronger willpower and they went and followed the lives of these children so many years later and they found that those kids that waited the 15 minutes had better outcomes in life were more successful in their fields so this is a very simple exercise think of anything either food a video game something that you feel like you're so attached to that you cannot live without and give it up and every morning make the decision actively to give it up until you're at a point where you're not attached to it anymore this simple activity will build your willpower will make you mentally resilient the fourth technique is pranayam meaning control of breath this is an ancient set of breathing techniques that helps remove blockages in the sushumna nadi the central channel helps restore balance within the body as the blockages are removed in the sushumna nadi the dormant energy that we refer to as kundalini rises up and as it rises it enables us to resist disease heal ourselves grow strong physically and mentally so pranayam not only makes us calmer but makes us stronger but ensure you're learning it from an experienced teacher the fifth technique and the last technique i'm going to share today is meditation the word willpower in hindi is atma bal atma meaning soul and bal meaning strength so in order to build your willpower you have to deepen your connection with your soul brahm gyan is a time tested ancient vedic technique that goes beyond just focusing on your breath or filling your mind with mantras but it is a subtle yet profound technique that connects you to your soul that connects you to this unending reservoir of energy and power that your soul contains and the more you practice the stronger the willpower gets and makes your mind resilient to overcome and face any adversity in life. So brothers and sisters, don't wait till adversity comes to start working on your mental strength. Considering the situation we're in today and the way our world is headed, mental resilience is an extremely important tool for you to have. Try these few techniques that have been shared with you today and build your mental strength, build your resilience, increase your willpower so that you can face any adversity that comes in your way. On that note, we'll conclude today's discourse. Thank you everyone for joining. Till next time, stay blessed.